Well, I know, I know that I said I wasn't going to do this, but uh, I started doing it anyway, and that's uh, starting to clean this uh, engine and transmission off. Um, what I've been doing to start with is just uh, basically taking a screwdriver and uh, starting to scrape off some of this crap. You know, I've pretty much done all this. I got most of the big stuff off, as you can see. I've got a nice, uh, nice pile of crap there, and. Uh, same on the other side. Um, I suppose here's a good spot. You can see, just see how thick that this stuff was. And it was about the same all the way back on the transmission. So I'm just going through and kind of getting the really big chunks of crap off. And up here on the, uh, on the valve cover there's a bunch. So I'm going to do that and then maybe see if I can get a hold of a pressure washer or something to clean off the the rest of it after I've got it scraped. Um, one thing I did notice as I was looking at it um, is that oil leak that I found when I pulled it out. I noticed there was a bunch of oil coming down here. Well that actually is coming from the coil I believe. Must have a, a crack in it or something because these are oil filled so my wealthy brother is going to have to buy another one of these before we uh, throw it back in and uh, that'll probably be a while because he wants to do all this, clean it up, paint it, whatnot. He's going to have to do a, a fair bit of cleaning, mostly back there and then painting and sanding and all that fun stuff. But if I wait around for him to come over and start working, I'll die of old age before he gets done. So. I'm just going to go ahead and spend, uh, spend some time cleaning it up and then uh, when he comes over we can maybe split the engine and transmission or maybe I'll do that on my own too, I don't know. And then uh, replace some gaskets and whatnot. but uh, that's where we're at now with it. Well for the most part I've got uh, it scraped off pretty well. I got the uh, really big chunks off anyway as you can see by that pile all that came off the engine and transmission still a little bit of scraping to do I mean this thing's pretty filthy so I'll keep chipping away at it but uh, I'm pretty much ready to find myself a pressure washer somewhere and borrow one and uh, see how much that'll take off uh, I think in the meantime I'll just keep trying to get it off manually um, the one thing I did notice as I was cleaning this uh, something that I thought I saw when we first got it um, as I was playing with the starter is that freeze plug right there is leaking we've got coolant coming out of it which I I thought I saw when I was under here working on it but I wasn't 100% sure now that I've got it out <clears throat> and I've got a good look at it now I know that it's uh, leaking for sure so it's a good thing we pulled the motor so it'll be easy to uh, <clears throat> to replace all the, the freeze plugs um, so yeah I'll just keep chipping away and uh, hopefully we'll be able to clean it up real nice especially if we get a pressure washer well I've gone ahead and I've scraped off all the, uh, the heavy stuff or at least most of it and uh, I went ahead and I grabbed some diesel and I basically put it everywhere because there's uh, you know still a lot of little chunks left on it and uh, I put the diesel on there hoping that uh, you know it would loosen it up so that when I hit it with the pressure washer it'll come off um, I'll probably not have a pressure washer for a while so I'll come back every day or so and soak it down again really get it in there um, and then hopefully that pressure washer will just take it right off after it soaks in you know this uh, oil and grease and dirt has been sitting on this engine and transmission for 50 years and it's really it's really stuck on there so I don't think it'll come off very easy if I just uh, if I just sprayed it I mean I have a hard time scraping it off so I'm hoping that if I soak it in diesel that'll loosen it all up but uh, went ahead and I worked on the valve cover a little bit I don't know how well you can see that but I can actually read Cadillac again on it so it's coming, I couldn't see that before. It was so caked with uh, crap, and that was on top of the engine. So the bottom was really nasty, but uh, hopefully 
I don't know when I'm going to get uh, around to finding a parts washer, but hopefully I'll be able to find one fairly soon. I'll let this diesel soak and then it uh, should be all clean, ready to come apart and replace the uh, gaskets and what, whatever else I find. That coil's got to go, freeze plug's got to go. Take the transmission off, fix that leak, clean it up, and then uh, start painting stuff. Still a ways out, but it's coming. I've been waiting uh, quite a while to finish this video up, but I uh, finally got a hold of a pressure washer here and I went ahead and sprayed down the engine. Um, it got uh, quite a bit of it off, but of course, you know, some of this stuff is just so caked on that the pressure washer won't even touch it. Um, it's just on there like glue. So I think. Uh, I think, you know, anything that's left on it is going to have to get scraped. Um, gone over it pretty good all over, but uh, it's just, some of it's just not coming off, so I'll have to uh, scrape it while it's on the stand. I think i, I got to clean enough I can break it in half, you know, the engine and transmission there and load it up onto a stand, but uh, well, there it is, finally, halfway is clean and my shop is filthy dirty